highlight your video footage and go to the Fusion tab. Click on the effects and then expand the tools. Then go to the effects. On the right side, find where it says TV, left click on it and it will be added to your media in. Highlight your TV node, go to the inspector and decrease the values of skyline to zero. That way you're adding some kind of noise on the screen. Next step, in the inspector, you can go to the noise tab. And while your playhead is in the beginning of your video, you can select the keyframe next to random. Then go to the end of your clip and change the values of random on 2 and that will be your end point of your keyframe. That way your noise is not gonna be still and it's gonna be moving simultaneously as the video goes. And so far this is enough, but if you want you can go to roll bar, you can increase the bar strength, as well adjust the size of that bar of your liking. And then go in the beginning of your clip, create a keyframe of your bar offset, then go to the end of your clip and change the values of that bar offset to about 50. And now when I play it through you can see that I'm having some kind of broken TV damage effect. I'm having a video footage on my timeline, I'm highlighting it and I'm going to the fusion tab. Then you can click on the effects and in the search bar you can type chromatic aberration. Left click on it and it will be added between your media in and out. And then you can go further in the timeline where you want this effect to apply. I'm gonna pick this frame right here. Then while chromatic aberration is highlighted, I'm going to inspector, I'm creating a keyframe of default values. On chromatic aberration, I'm moving forward in the timeline, then I'm increasing the values of chromatic aberration to the end. It will create another keyframe. And also I'm changing the XY values of center of my liking. Then I'm going a little bit further in the timeline and I'm changing the values of chromatic aberration again. This time I'm leaving them on zero and I'm also resetting the values of center XY. And now I'm gonna play the video so you can see what the effect is gonna do. For this effect I'm having the same clip on my timeline and I'm going again in the fusion tab. In the search bar I'm typing save the color. I'm left clicking on it so now it's added on my node. I'm going in the inspector and I'm decreasing the values of blend in the settings tab. Then I'm moving further in the timeline on the place where I want to add the effect. I'm selecting the keyframe next to blend on value 0. Moving further in the timeline, then I'm increasing the values of blend to 1. Then moving further again in the timeline, I'm creating another keyframe of blend. And then lastly, I'm moving again further in the timeline and I'm decreasing the values of blend to 0, creating the last keyframe. And this is what I have. Also in this effect, you can change the colors of your liking. One way to use the shadow effect is when you're having multiple clips on your timeline. I'm having one of them, I'm going in the Fusion tab and I'm looking for a shadow. I'm adding it in between my media in and out. Then I highlight media in and I'm gonna add the transform node. I'm highlighting the transform node, going to inspector and I'm gonna decrease the size of my media. I'm gonna place it on the screen on place where I like. And I'm gonna place the values of center offset XY of my liking. I'm gonna leave it on the bottom right side of it. Also you can pick a size of your shadow, in my case I'm gonna use white. And also in the same panel you can increase the values of softness of your liking. You can use this effect as many clips as you want, as long as you can fit it. In my next clip I'm gonna leave it above it, I'm gonna highlight it and I'm gonna repeat the same things that I did for the first one. And this is one way that you can also use your clips to play them simultaneously by splitting the screen and adding some shadows behind them. And that is just in case you don't want them to stand just like that. For this effect you can use either video or image, I'm gonna use an image. So I'm going in the fusion tab, while this is highlighted I'm going to templates, fusion and then I'm selecting particles. For this effect I'm gonna use the particles with the bubbles, I'm gonna left click on it, it's gonna create another merge node and then I'm gonna select the transform between the effect and the merge node and I highlight the transform and I increase the size until my particles are fooling the full size of my image. And in the inspector I'm going to the emitter controls and there you can adjust the number of bubbles that you're having the amount of rotations they are doing, also the randomness and many more things that you can explore. Also you can change the color of your bubbles of your liking, in my case I'm making them white. And I'm also going to glow controls so I can increase the amount of glow I'm having. And when I play it through this is what I'm having. Nice and easy particles that can power up your image or video footage.
For these effects, I'm going again in the Fusion and the Effects tab, I'm typing Matrix and then I'm selecting the templates so I can have the Matrix effect. I'm left clicking on it and it will be added on my node. Then I highlight the matrix and then I select the transform icon so I can increase the size of that matrix. In the inspector I'm increasing the size of that matrix and when I play it through you can see that I'm having the matrix effect. You can also watch this video right here, I'm pretty sure you're gonna like it. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.